Let's look at Lupaka Gold. Um, I think that looks pretty interesting. Uh, it looks like it, it potentially could be a, a, a large resource, and um, I guess they already have around a couple million ounces from the first sort of target that they uh, that they drilled out over the last year or two. Right at surface, uh, in a little right hill. Yeah, yeah, right at surface. I guess, you know, what would really be a clincher for stuff like this is that it would be an oxide-type heat bleach deal. Um, I, d I guess we didn't get too into the metallurgy in terms of, you know, is the gold uh, free, but I, I thought that, the, that he had mentioned that uh, uh, they don't expect either there or maybe even at the other prospects to have any issues in terms of uh, uh, just a, a basic process. Um, gravity, you know, maybe flotation, and then uh, um, cyanide leaching in, in vats or whatever. Um, so that would be, I guess, you know, somewhat more cost than if it was just a straight, you know, crushing to, to heat bleach type deal, which given how remote and uh, desolate this area is, it would probably be a perfect area for something like that. But uh, um, Certainly, at two million ounces, it starts looking like it could support the infrastructure, which wouldn't be too great required, you know, for plant and all that kind of stuff. Um, but it almost seemed like the, the the excitement they had was in, you know, finding additional deposits. Well, I think that's their story's pretty simple. They're just looking for the extensions, right? Yeah, it's not really an extension. It's it's they have different anomalies. Yeah. What's that? Right. So separate deposits, potentially even larger than the first. But right. I don't, even, I don't even know if that's needed. You know, I suppose it'd be nice. Yeah, I, I would think that where they are now, because if you look at okay, that's two million. Well, oh yeah, the other thing I like is that. So depending on how the, the economics were to work out, I mean, they have a core. So even though I forgot what they state the deposit at in terms of the global resource uh, subgram or around the gram or, or something like that, but uh, um, a significant portion of it is, is, is much higher grade. And like let's say they had a million ounces at closer to a gram and a half, two grams or, you know, whatever. Um, that starts looking, you know, as 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 more flexibility because when I was looking at this thing, is like, well, if the whole thing is disseminated all low grade in one sort of continuous body, that could be nice from a mining perspective, but it doesn't give you a lot of flexibility in terms of the size of the plant you have to build. But if we think about like uh, uh, some of the ones in Mexico that are pretty low grade, you know, I mean they're not massive deposits, but they end up you have to have a huge like looking at thirty, forty thousand tons per day to produce 50, whatever, you know, 50,000 ounces a year. Um, like, what are some of the ones that we've looked at? Uh, well, we don't have to go through the names, but anyway, so if you're at, you know, if you're at like a half a gram or 0.3 grams or whatever, you have to have a large, very large operation. Um, you know, even though you're just moving rock for the most part and uh, uh, sometimes just doing some crushing as well, but... Uh, it can, you know, can still, in terms of just literally how much rock you have to move, um, it, you know, doesn't give you a lot of flexibility on size. And more remote you are, I think, the more flexibility you potentially want to have. So, seeing that this deposit has some higher grade, you know, you, you increase the cutoff, you can still keep a lot, you know, significant amount of tonnage, and you're able to do a, you know, different type of uh, smaller plant, and you know, let's say produce uh, 100,000 ounces per year. At you know at, at a smaller scale, my guess is, is because if you're going to do something here, it's it's probably worthwhile to you know to make it more of a camp or district. If they can find this these things, uh, they would want to have a pretty significant production profile. Um, I mean, especially there's going to be you know some infrastructure costs um, beyond just the you know the plant itself. So. You want to have that covered by as much resource as possible. Uh, in terms of the what the companies have been doing, uh, share price-wise, 
You, oh. you probably follow it better. What, what do you think? Held in really strong hands. Um, pretty strong management. Pretty strong insider ownership. A lot of support in the market. Um, and the share price has done very well, certainly relative to everyone else. I, I think so. It's probably less likely to. More, I think they're going to need to raise some more money. Uh, maybe Q3, Q4. Um, yeah. They spent a lot of it consolidating 100% ownership of the project. Um, so that's, I guess, one thing to watch for. But it sounds like most of the people backing it have you know, are support any raises. I guess, you know, 40% insider ownership and maybe yeah, a lot about that amount of institutional ownership. So they shouldn't have any trouble raising money. Especially if they hit something, I think. I mean, to me, the danger is because they are really talking about themselves as you know finding the next you know two or three deposits to go along with uh, a one. If they don't hit anything with this drill program this year, then what happens? Do they lose a lot of support? Um, so that, that was kind yeah. of my concern. Well, this year, I don't know if it makes sense. It may even not be this year because I think there's probably enough indication that there's gold there. You know, the question is, how does, you know, how large the system is, how continuous it is. So that may take, you know, a longer time to, to try to get figure out. I mean, I guess if they're coming up with very variable results, it doesn't look the same as this one that they've, you know. And I guess this one's just outcrops, whereas the other ones are a little bit more subtle. Um doesn't necessarily mean that this one's bigger than some of the other ones. It's just this one was there, and I think kind of easier to um, easier to you know figure out that it should be drilled first. Um, yeah, but I guess the question would be how much of the how much of the you know the expectation or whatever is on blue sky versus hey they have what they have now and that could potentially be to a mine. Um, Without too much extra, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the, you know, I think it would be. Uh, did they talk about a PEA or any other uh, things that? I, I guess they are doing one, aren't they? Already on this, on this portion. Uh, I don't think so, but I, I could be wrong. Well, let's look into that. I mean, I, I think that that would be because look, I mean, if 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 they can support. You know, it'd be interesting to see also what what approach they take. But I, what I would look to is okay. So what is, you know, because this is relatively remote, and, uh, and I thought the elevation was 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 pretty high. I don't think severe as some of the uh, some of the other projects. Uh, uh, but uh, it's you know, those those are going to be something that uh, that have to be considered. And like most of the projects, upway. <laughs> You know, I mean, they tend to obviously be massive, you know, low-grade porphyry type things. This is a different, different deal. But uh, you know, they're they're three five billion dollar projects. So if this is a, if this is a like five hundred million billion dollar deal to produce two or three hundred thousand ounces, um, then I think they have to find more, and it has you know the, the, to 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 pay back all the infrastructure costs. Um, I mean, you probably, we could probably, you know, I'm sure they've done enough work to try to do some early stage stuff on it. Um, but I think, yeah, I think, I think that the, the, the interest to me would be flexibility. So not having to find anything else would be, you know, would be a, uh, would be a good thing because then what they have already supports. And especially if they, if they're willing to go forward with just what they have, and not be predicated on this thing being triple or you know whatever in terms of the resource. Um, I think that you know I think that would be um, that would give more sort of uh, risk of you know sort of I don't know what you call it. Right. Well, for something you know in terms of uh, not being just exploration. Now they found something, but they have to find quite a bit more. But I mean, this year could be. I mean, it's probably not a bad time to, you know, own the company given that they they are drilling these. You know, yeah, I, 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 you, you, we could look at it as a drill. You know, it's a drill supported by a resource. I mean, the 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 best case scenario would be, hey, look, 
the resource that they have is already potentially mineable. And then, let's say they hit something big, because one of these other anomalies does prove that the geophysics indicates that these are actually, you know, potentially quite attractive gold targets. Let's say they hit something major there. I mean, then it's, then, then it's definitely, I don't care what the market's doing, you know, given that it's in strong, you know, it's in relatively strong hands, and well, not relatively, I don't know, it could be in the strongest hands of, of any of the companies. But, are, there that, uh, are there really that many situations like this where, you know, the potential really hasn't been tested, and they also have something that looks pretty good on its own. I don't feel like. Well, I don't know. If that, that's the question. Or, that's the question. Does it does it look pretty good on its own? That's that's what I'd want to do a little bit more, more work before we're like, yeah, this is definitely one that we want to right. own in this environment. Yeah. Because well, you know, because we have to take something else off our list. So whenever we look at any other company, we're gonna say, well, you know. Is there a near-term potential with this? Is this something that would be more comfortable having than, you know, than some of the other things? Obviously, there's some dogs that we have, so that's saying that there's no room to, you know, to, to build something quality. Well, as I as I recall, the first, I think the first raise was done at fifty cents, then a dollar, then the IPO was at a dollar fifty. So I was under yeah. the impression there weren't really any really cheap shares out there looking to just bail. Um. No, probably not. And I don't think it's it's has a big big retail you know presence or anything like that. I don't think it's a well known story yet. So certainly, if they start, you know, I don't know how much brokerage coverage they have or whatever. So there's certainly the opportunity to to get the story further out there. I don't, I don't think there are any plans for PA this year. Maybe next year, or later next year. Okay, I thought we maybe had talked about that. Maybe I, I guess the discussion was maybe they're doing something internal. They mentioned yeah. autos. Autos model was something they had looked That's at. That's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, that they had done some internal type autos thing and see, you know, how, you know, where he's drawing his assumptions from and things like that. Right. I think he was only using the, you know, a one deposit. You know, can look back because that was something they said. They were very comfortable with those assessments for the most part. So, right. Okay. Well, we can look back at that. But I, you know, if if so, if it has that, you know, if there's strong support just from the deposit that we have plus the expiration, it does. You know, because because the difference here, I think, to some extent, I mean, not that other depo other you know companies don't have this. I mean, X Store has it on, you know, it's Cerro Negro, or whatever, in. Uh, uh, in Argentina, they have a couple of veins. They've done a, you know, they've done an economic study on them. That, you know, there's whatever. But the prospect is they have, you know, thousand square kilometers or whatever they have, and these veins just go and go and go. And there's thousands of them. You know, 95 percent of them are not economically mineralized. But if you have, you know, several hundred, five percent will still end up being, you know, multiple systems. Sir Vanguardia with Anglo, you know, uh, in that same uh, province, essentially. Um, is what that is. I mean, they've you know they've mined a number of those veins for many millions of ounces, and there's probably many more millions of ounces there to be mined. So these systems, once they start you know bulking gold up into into an area, can have significance um, or a great regional significance. So I, that, and and that and that interests uh, I think a lot of the you know the majors or bitters or whatever that you have a camp because a, a lot of of the companies that are that do have a defined resource are now maybe drilling out the edges or extensions or looking for satellite deposits, but they've kind of found I think, or at least from you know from indications, they found the major you know the major ore body, and maybe they're looking for some other ones that are smaller. Here, it almost, I mean, they got to have to do a little bit more work and look into it. But this is just one, but there could be others that are even bigger. If this is truly district scale, um, you know, type of, uh, uh, um, you know, let's see, these, these, all these different anomalies are all related somehow. Okay, uh, let's go to the next one. I think that's that's something that I just think does obviously. Don't say that much more.